Hello! Just a quick one today. Uh, I've got a Moonman P136. I have already reviewed this before. I'll pop a link down there. In, not down there. Down there in the description. Yes, I'm being figurative or, you know, whatever it is. Um, but this one has the stub nib on it. I mentioned it in um, that review. And uh, I thought it was only fair because um, I did say that on my other one, which had a medium, it was a bit misaligned and whatnot. Uh, so I mentioned that this one wrote okay, but I just thought I'd chuck in a quick writing sample with the stub. Just to be if anyone was interested, basically. So... You'll have to forgive my writing a little bit. My my writing with a stub isn't great. I'm still finding my feet with it. So this is a 1.1 millimeter stub. I'm also reaching over this poxy thing because I've used the other end. So excuse me. Uh, ink in here is, is that, that's not great. Um, Diamine Poinsettia, which is fast becoming a favourite red after stumbling across it um, in a sample. So this stub, and as I say, I'm not great with stubs. Um, so my angle, I'm still trying to get myself used to writing with them, but anyway, um, is really nicely smooth, well-tuned. Um, nice and wet. So you're gonna get a bit different kind of cross stroke to down stroke with a stub, but really nicely wet and as for line variation obviously you get the natural uh, thin cross strokes this is your thicker down strokes so you will get that natural line variation can you push it a bit more so no pressure can you push it a bit more yeah you can but you're going to get that natural line variation anyway. So yeah, that's it for today. Uh, it's just, oh, sorry, reverse. Ugh, very scratchy. Not really made for that. You can, but it's very scratchy. So that's it for today. I just wanted to do that writing sample so you can see the Moon Man uh, performance of the Moon Man stub nib on the P136. Have a lovely day. Bye.